Upon graduation of high school, this is one of the most embarrassing questions you guys can ask us. How long have you been learning English? Twelve years. Twelve years and you speak like this? Are you joking? 大家好，我是戴书轩，欢迎回到我的频道。今天我想再来邀请一个很特别的来宾，就是 Echo 老师。大家好。上次我们有讨论过有关台湾跟英国的文化上的比较，那今天我们想比较深入一点的讨论英文学习这个话题。Where did you learn your English? Or like, did you already arrive in the UK with your accent? You're already quite fluent, or was it more once you were living there that you cultivated that? Or what happened? Before I went to England, I had all Already spent like three, four years on practicing the accent, the pronunciations,、okay. and the foundation for English, the grammar, the vocabulary, had been the work of decades already.、Okay. But there was only one thing that I couldn't get while I was in Taiwan. It was the fluency. The speed itself was trained when I was talking to people over、okay. there, pronouncing the syllables、mm-hmm. and the controls over the ups and downs that I practiced in Taiwan before.、Okay. Very interesting, yeah. Because a lot of people, like when I told people that I was going to invite you onto the channel, they always ask me, "What do you think of his English? What do you think of his accent? Is it like forced?" And I was like, "No, it basically seems like kind of like a more of an upper class accent." And so I'm wondering, what inspired you? Like, what resources did you draw on to cultivate that kind of English accent? Films, really? Old films or films that are set in old periods of time. So now that you are obviously living in Taipei, how do you manage to keep your English? Going? Do you find that's a challenge? Because for me, people ask me a lot, like, how come you can still speak Chinese even though you haven't lived in Taiwan for like seven years? I feel like the level just kind of stayed the same, and maybe sometimes goes down a bit. But what I do is do a lot of listening to like YouTube or podcasts and stuff in Chinese. I'm still using English quite a lot, but not as much as I did when I was in London. Obviously, I don't really have a chance to use English outside of the classroom. The fluency, the naturalness, the smoothness, God. Damaged a bit, which is inevitable. I keep my level of English with mainly through reading as well. And when I'm reading, well, I've always been doing this for the past twenty years, reading to myself. But when I'm reading, I talk to British people. I know how you generally sound like, and without too many theories into it, I just borrow the sound that impressed on my brain to be applied to the books I'm reading. So you still try to selectively only choose very British things to、mm. make sure that. You're like staying in tune with that way. Of yeah,、speaking. not only with what I can physically hear, but、yeah. also in my imagination as well. Do you ever find that maybe you might be learning your own way and repeating it over and over? I and mean, this is what I find for me because obviously I see myself on YouTube sometimes. So then it's like I'm hearing my own version of the language and then learning that, which is not that great. Do you have that issue at all? I did, but I have learned to、uh, cope with myself. Just like, become more and more unique, and then that's and、fine. yeah, that's that. Because I was actually told this when I was in London by one of my friends that I have a privilege to choose whatever I want to sound like because I'm a foreigner.、Yeah. I will have to be confident enough that people are always going to forgive me if they do not racist. <laughs> I can play the race card. Nice, Your English、nice. is not good enough. Racist. <laughs> On a more serious tone, higher education. I think absolutely, you guys have a much better higher education system. It's mainly because of that. Attitude. You are generally more comfortable in expressing your own opinion in public, whereas we are still being suppressed from doing so. At a level below high school, that could be fine, passive learning. But higher than university, you can't. You have to actively go into search, read more. In order to become better, students are supposed to be stimulated and inspired to use more and more English or more and more sophisticated language of expressions. But in order to do that for a student, he or she has to read on their own in their spare time. But the Taiwanese don't think so. They think that coming to classes is studying already. Yeah, I feel like the whole population as a whole, ninety percent of everyone has a degree. It's like more than ninety percent because it is easy to get into a university. The tests are not difficult because you don't have to be creative. You just memorize a set of、mm. facts and copy it down. And the tuition fee is very cheap. And this is something that I envy as well because your society doesn't force people to study. You don't have to. If you suck at studying, you find out that you are very bad at studying when you were ten. Then 
perhaps your parents, so the parents might be encouraging you to do other things. Your parents will tell you to stop wasting your time to do math. You are not an Asian. But for us, <laughs> yeah, there's no choice. You're an Asian. You are supposed to be good at everything. You cannot do painting. You cannot do sports, and even if you are good at studying, you must study math. Why, Dad? I suck at math. No, you are my son. You are good at math. I'm better in English. You can't have a lunch with English. What do you mean I can't have lunch with English? I mean you don't make money. Study math, but Dad, my math is like 25 out of 100. You see the results. I'm stupid. No, no, no. Study harder. That's yeah, I mean that's a good point. I mean, pretty much everyone that I speak to who's from like somewhere in Asia and who's living、mm. in the UK, when I ask them why are you living in the UK, why have you chosen to be here, they always say Asia. Even if they have to live in Taiwan, they want to work for maybe an American company, a Canadian company. Not only the pay is better, the company culture is freer. It's、yeah. very sad. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you. Do you know why your wife has chosen our classes? She has been worried about her deterioration of English. That is why she came to me in first place. Because you guys are doing things very differently. The approach of culture with a lot more very topic-oriented discussions, which intrigues her a lot, giving her a lot of opportunities not only to practice but to be stimulated, to be inspired, <laughs> to think of things to say, getting her out of her usual common zone, and also she is. Interested in Great Britain? Yeah, I hope that it's intriguing because I feel like if the material is intriguing and like what people think about this differently in different parts of the world, then it's like there's enough interest to actually want to speak. And if you have something that you want to say, then that's the best way to practice. Yes, literally、so. for people like me, the defense mechanism will be triggered. Anything else that you think is useful for people to know about how to improve their English and tips from you in that area? For me, I would always promote reading more, especially. Especially novels, stories, because they are going to be very useful in your conversation. If you get used to reading with enough time, when, for instance, you are discussing something interesting with a student, then that said student might be reminded of something that he might have read, and he doesn't have to be producing it 100% correctly. We. Can still help them. Correct. You yeah, don't have to worry、good. about it. Just develop a good habit.、Uh, yeah, and I always say, really follow your interests. For you, it was Shakespeare, and that's、mm. great. If it's not that, and you find that you read something, and you're like, oh my god, I'm like bored to tears. Just stop. If you're an adult, you don't have to be like bashing yourself over the head all the time、mm. trying to do something boring. So find what inspires you, what you find interesting. For me, with Chinese, it's Li Ke Tai Tai. I feel like she's quite fun to watch and listen to. She is. Yeah. So I have met quite a lot of young people in Taiwan. I bet you've met loads of people. Yeah. Who's your favourite guest that you've had on the show? You. <laughs> like after me, and after your wife. I don't know. They are all very good. There's this guy, this young man, 25 years old, hip hop la. Oh, Shen Yang, I love him. He's not only good looking, but he's quite mature. And as a young person, I would like to talk to that guy more about his ideas of the world, about his life, how he plans his life, because he can. He can actually talk about those.、Things. But improving English, there is a lot to do. There is not one easy, quick, immediate solution. It's not a miracle, unless, of course, you are a genius, then you don't. Have to do any of this? You just listen, and then you pick up. That's it, done. But like what you are saying, interest is the most important thing. Like a lot of students ask me that I am interested in reading things like the Da Vinci Code, but I found the vocabulary to be too difficult. Can I read it? I don't know. I'm not you. How can I decide for you? Now, why do you want to read the Da Vinci Code? Oh, I watched a movie. I'm really interested in the struggle of Christianity in the modern world. Well, if you are into that idea. And the Da Vinci Code is the book for you. No matter how hard English is, you can make it. You can struggle through it. But if they like some cliche romantic story, just go through Twilight Saga. It will be.、Oh, can it help my English? It sounds so stupid. It can. And I think the main issue that tends to happen here is not to do with vocabulary. It's not the grammar. It's literally confidence and just speaking. Like just practice. Just start. <sighs> Confidence. And then it becomes easier. Confidence. Because I mean, you've all learned English at school for many years. There's、yeah. definitely a basis、yeah. of knowledge there. Upon graduation of high school, this is one of the most embarrassing questions you guys can ask us. How long have you been learning English? Twelve years. 
12 years and you speak like this, are you joking? I don't know where that comes from though, because I don't really feel like anyone in the UK would be like, you've learned English for 12 years and you speak like that, like no one's going to react like that and if they do, then they're like yeah, but, horrible people. But our parents tell us that you have to be harder on yourself. No, 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 very easy, very easy. <laughs> Yeah, we need to learn to relax. Those one guys, yeah, okay, actually, it's your show. Thank you.